What's up guys, it's Dalmatter here, and today we're going to be reacting to Elon Musk and Joe Rogan get a cartoon. So this is from Flash Gets, and I think I've reacted to the Elon Musk and Joe Rogan destroy Twitter uh, video, which is also from them. This one's a little bit older, I think it's about two years old. Um, but yeah, I think it's kind of related to that one, not entirely sure. But yeah, link to the original video down below, and let's jump into it. Cartoon is satirical parody. It's no way endorsed by Rick and Morty. Oh, it's gonna be Rick and Morty. Yeah. <laughs> Coronavirus is real. Don't demonetize me, YouTube. That's funny. We have to get this space weed to the International Space Station to cure coronavirus, Joey. What's with the baby Even in it, too? Coronavirus is fake. But they won't let me microchip my son's asshole without curing it first. So, whatever. Chip me, <laughs> We have to cure coronavirus, Joe. Oh, shit! But Musk, what does the ISS have to do with the virus? What does the ISS have to do with the virus? <laughs> You're an idiot! I love how short Joe Rogan is here. I don't know. How tall is Elon Musk? He's definitely taller than Rogan. Rogan's only like 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, uh, Elon Musk. Height. Uh, okay, apparently he's six one and a half. Okay. So, yeah, a little bit off here because he's like twice the height of Rogan. He's not quite 10 feet tall, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Joey, you think they just built the ISS to like float around? Really, Joey? No, dumb. It's an atmospheric blanket array aerosolization device, Joey. That's crazy. Shut up. Just shut up. You are not a scientist. Joey. <laughs> You're stupid. You fight people. Your head is fat, but there is nothing in it, Joey. You're like an overripe tomato. Too much TRT. It, it's revolting, Joey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's funny. His head has gotten so much bigger. Like, if you look, see, like, pictures of Joe Rogan back in the day when he was, you know, just starting out as a comedian in his early 20s. He is so much smaller. And he, he's, like, openly on fucking HGH. It's the HGH is doing it, not the TRT. But, yeah. Here, hold, hold the space weed. He's gonna smoke it, this is 100%. This last space weed plant. Don't smoke that, Joey. He's gonna smoke Don't it. Don't smoke the space weed, Joey. I gotta go deactivate the 5G towers, but I'll be back. <laughs> Don't smoke that space weed. Oh, fuck. Oh, no! You smoked the space weed, Joey, and it turned you black! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Bro. Bro. Oh my god. Dog! Here, quickly! Scrub it off! Scrub it off! What's going on here? Shit, shit, shit! Quick, Joey! Before it's too late! That's an interesting accent you got there. Uh, yes, I'm from South Africa, but I am a US citizen. You hear that, Brad? Looks like we got a couple of African Americans. Oh shit. Run, Joey, run! You should be faster now! You should be faster Wait, now! That's Kevin Hart! <laughs> Kevin Hart! He's a comedian. Well, the only comedian I listen to is Brendan Schaub. Did you hear Brendan Schaub just put out a new comedy special on Netflix? And it's already number one? Wow, really? How didn't I hear about that? I mean, I'm not surprised. He Man. Did Brennan actually have a number one comedy special? Brendan Schaub comedy special. Uh, number one. No. Yeah. I mean, it's got one star on IBDM, or IMBD, IMDB, one star, one and a half out of ten. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I've only seen, like, random bits that people have posted on YouTube, and out of those, it is not good. He's one of those guys who, he's like, he's kind of funny when he's just shooting the shit. But he's not, like, comedy funny. Like, not stand-up funny, right? Because those are two different things. There's some guys that are hilarious when they're just, like, sitting there talking. But they could never do stand-up. I know a lot of guys like that that I would, like, 
never expect to like actually write out jokes and like set up bits and premise like the premises and all that shit. But they're, they're funny, like they're just shooting the shit. I feel like that's the problem with Brennan. He's like really funny, like locker room type guy. But when it comes to like actually fucking stand up, it's not very good. He was a great fighter, and he's an even better comedian. Huh? What? It was a simulation! <laughs> God! It wasn't real! It's over. It's over. I was trying to prove to God that humans are redeemable. That we can tell fact from fiction. Where did the cops come from, Joe? And Brendan Sharp? Really? <laughs> You're supposed to be a skeptic. Look at how mad he is, Joe. <laughs> now he's gonna wipe us all out. He's gonna wipe us all out with coronavirus. <laughs> he fucking oh, aborted one, himself. Joe. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, that is so fucking good. The bit of a Brennan shop, too. I was like, there's no way Brennan shop had a number one fucking special. I, I, I should have I should have caught on right there. That something was up, but that's fucking funny. That's good. Anyway, let me know what you think. Like, I'm subscribe. I'll see you the next one.